it going guys, Sharblox here. In this video, we're going to try a little experiment. Is it possible to run Roblox on a very bad computer? Basically, a computer that wouldn't normally be able to run Roblox at more than 10 FPS. This is going to be a pretty good test. I will be demonstrating how to get Roblox into a very basic low quality state. This includes removing textures to get Roblox into low poly mode, editing Roblox graphics settings in games, and also changing the computer's display resolution to get Roblox into the poorest quality possible. It's going to be funny, I reckon Roblox is going to end up looking like a PlayStation 1 game. Of course, visually looking, the game is not going to look very good, but the performance side of things should improve massively. If your computer normally struggles to run Roblox, maybe some of you watching right now can use some of the methods in this video to improve the performance of your Roblox gameplay. So the low quality version of Roblox that I'm going to show you guys in this video will work on older computers. I guess like Windows XP era computers, depending on how good the specs are. But I also just want to mention the fact your operating system must be Windows 7 or above. So even if it was a PC that originally came with Windows XP, you should probably install Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10. You could even install it via a bootable USB or something like that. As you might know, Roblox only supports Windows 7 and up. So if you do have Windows XP or Windows Vista on your older computer, it's not going to work. I just want to show you guys what Roblox looks like before we edit any of these settings. So right now I'm just playing Roblox and it's on the full graphics version with my graphics card. Everything is basically high definition. If I just open up the Roblox settings here and then just click on the settings tab, you guys can see that my graphics quality is all the way to the top. So like I said guys, in this video, we're going to be changing Roblox into the lowest quality possible. Just quickly guys, inside of a Roblox game with loads of textures, you guys can see that I do currently have textures enabled. So the game looks pretty good, like the quality of the games look pretty good. We are going to be removing textures first and then we can see what they look like. So when we remove all of the Roblox texture files, all of these textures that you guys can see on the screen will actually completely disappear. And they will basically be replaced with like a solid kind of like plastic looking brick. So to start off, let's remove the textures. You guys just want to find the Roblox player icon. Now once you find this, you just want to click on it and then you want to right click and you want to select open file location. So this is going to bring us into the file explorer with all of the Roblox settings and files and folders. The first thing we want to do is go into platform content, PC, we then want to go into textures and you can find all of the Roblox textures in here. What we're going to do is select all of them, we're going to right click, we're going to click on delete and we're going to click on yes and we're going to remove all of the Roblox textures. Now I would also recommend doing this for both Roblox versions. So you guys can see where it says versions at the top, just click on that, go back to the other version double click on it, go into platform content, PC, go into textures. And again, when it finally loads in, we want to select all of these textures and then we just want to right click and we want to go ahead and delete all of these. So there we go guys, deleted all of the Roblox textures from both version folders. We should now be good to go. All of our Roblox textures should now be removed. And as you guys can see already back on Roblox Arsenal, the game is looking a lot different. That is because all of our textures have been deleted. So you should notice a slight FPS increase. Some people like to play the game like this because I guess it does look pretty cool. Like personally, I like Roblox looking like this. I think it looks kind of nice. It kind of reminds me of like classic Roblox in a way. And to be fair, I really like it. Let's say that you are running Roblox on a really old computer and just removing the texture files wasn't enough. Well, what you can also do is open up the Roblox settings, go onto the settings tab, and this time we're going to change the graphics quality. As you can see right now, it's all the way up, but we can actually change this all the way down. Also make sure it's selected on manual. And then if you come off the settings, we can see the Roblox graphics, well, they're a lot lower. It's kind of looking like a really old kind of like PlayStation 2 game or something like that. The render distance is really small. The quality just doesn't look as good. There's no good lighting, but the performance of Roblox should be insane. Your F FPS should now be really high. Now believe it or not guys, this is not actually the worst Roblox graphics you can get. You can get graphics which looks even worse than this. Now to make your Roblox graphics even worse, you need to alter your computer's display settings. And yes, if you have a very old computer and you alter the resolution, games will perform better and your frames per second rate, also known as FPS, will be higher. So just over on my computer's desktop, I'm going to right click, I'm going to scroll down and go into display settings. And inside of the display resolution, we can actually change this to the lowest resolution possible. So I think we're going to go with 800 by 600. Now I would suggest 
probably not doing this. The first tricks that I showed you guys are probably enough. They're going to improve your FPS. But this one should probably work on really old computers. I will try that later in the video as well. So let's just go ahead. Let's change it. And oh my gosh, look at this. It's going to come up saying keep these display settings. You want to click on keep changes before the timer runs out. So let's just go ahead and click on that. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Over on Roblox website, this is what Arsenal looks like. So we're going to try it, guys. We're going to play Arsenal. We're going to see what the quality is like. And we're also going to see what my FPS is like. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into a game. Oh my gosh, the quality of this looks awful. But my FPS, on the other hand, is pretty good. So yeah, this is like really smooth. Like this is insane. Like my computer's fan hasn't even turned on. So I know this is smooth. Let me try some gameplay anyway. Let me try and kill some people, see how good I am. Oh, there you go. That was pretty good. Do you know what? I reckon I could actually play Arsenal like pretty good like this. I mean, to be fair, yeah, it does look like a PlayStation 2 game, which I'm not a massive fan of. Actually, no, it looks like a PlayStation 1 game. Have you guys ever played like a PlayStation 1 game and you can see like the pixels? It looks like that because I can literally see the pixels. But you know what? I'm not feeling terrible. Like I reckon I can actually do quite well like this. Look, the chat is literally like spread across my screen because the like aspect ratio of this is just so bad. I think if our FPS does dip, it's probably Arsenal's fault because doesn't Arsenal have like a problem with FPS? Oh, look at that shot. Oh, this is lasers. I don't like this game mode. It sucks, doesn't it? This is like one of the worst um, Arsenal game modes. How are we actually doing like pretty well on like the worst resolution? This is a bit concerning. Oh, missed. Let's shoot this guy. Oh, 600. I realized that Arsenal is just like a typically like, you know, glitchy kind of like little bit laggy kind of game, to be honest. Like, look at this. How did that miss? The first shot completely failed. See, look, random lag spikes. Oh, well, we didn't win this one. We came second. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. I kind of wanted to win, but never mind, I guess. So I wanted to try this on an older computer that I own. This PC that I'm going to use is really old now. I think it's from 2011. It originally came with Windows 7 installed and the specs are not very good. So on an average day, it can run Roblox at about 15 to 30 frames per second, depending on the game, of course. But after applying these low graphics settings, the frame rate improved massively. I just want to say, guys, you can also use the FPS unlocker. I made a video on that about six months ago. So if you guys don't have this installed... And you do play roblox on a pc i would recommend getting it basically roblox is locked at 60 fps but if you install this it basically unlocks the 60 fps cap and you can pretty much run roblox at whatever fps you want okay so now on my terrible computer what i'm gonna do is play arsenal i've actually just opened up the settings and inside of the arsenal settings i'm basically going to disable a load of effects like i said in this video we want the worst graphics possible the interesting thing is right before i installed all of these low graphics effects the game was very laggy and hard to run on this computer but after disabling all of these graphics features and basically making the game look terrible the performance was actually pretty good like considering how old this computer is it can actually run roblox at 60 fps and like i said before it was running roblox at about 30 fps so this is actually a massive improvement this is really good compared to what it used to be so there you go just some arsenal gameplay to show you guys just shooting some players inside of the game and yeah, it's definitely playable. Not gonna lie, it's definitely not amazing, but it's much better than what it used to be. Obviously now the graphics are just no way near as good, so that's one thing you've got to keep in mind. But if you're willing to sacrifice graphics for faster gameplay and better FPS, then I guess you can go ahead and try this. I did also go ahead and play a Roblox showcase game because showcase games are supposed to look very nice. They're supposed to be quite hard to run as well. So I really wanted to see what this looked like on my computer. And yeah, it didn't look very good. However, it was playable. So I could play the showcase and run around and look at everything. It just didn't exactly look very good. And showcases are supposed to look good and here is what the game is supposed to look like but yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video that was interesting it's definitely nice getting roblox to run on older computers if you guys are watching this video and you play roblox on mobile so maybe the android or ios app i do actually have a video coming very soon for all of you android users that video will show you guys how to remove roblox textures on android ios i don't know i might try and get it working and then maybe i can turn that into a video as well but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video so if you guys enjoyed as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one